Welcome to my mixed class. Today we're going to talk about adding and subtracting fractions but in word problems. And this presentation is brought to you with limited commercial interruption by Dr. Pepper. 23 flavors of deliciousness. All right, let's get started. First question. Johnny is going to paint one-fifth of his house. His friend Jackie says he will paint two-fifths of the same house. Ronnie says he'll paint the rest. How much of the house will Ronnie be painting? All right, well, let's check it out, all right? Johnny's doing one-fifth. Jackie is going to paint two-fifths. I need to figure out how much these two guys are going to paint before I can really worry about how much Ronnie's going to paint, all right? One-fifth plus two-fifths. We're going to add these two fractions, all right? You notice that they both have the same denominator. So the denominator stays the same. Something fits, right? Well, if Johnny's painting one fifth, and we're going to add the three, or excuse me, the two fifths that uh, Jackie's going to paint, I end up with one plus two, which is three fifths, right? So between the two of them, they're going to paint three fifths of the house, and that's the information that I need first before I can figure out how much is left over, right? Well, I want to add three fifths plus something fifths, right? Because there's only one house, so there's five total parts of the house that are going to be painted to give me one whole, because they're painting one whole house, okay? And then, uh, what was his name? Ronnie said he would paint the rest, okay? So I know that my one, to make this a little easier on myself, instead of saying one, I'm going to put that in fraction form. Five fifths, right? Because there's three fifths that are being painted, plus something fifths that are left. So my whole number has to be five fifths, because we know there's five parts of the house that need to be painted. If three fifths are being painted by these two jokers, and then Ronnie's going to paint the rest, I've got three fifths plus something fifths equals five fifths. Denominators are all the same. I don't need to do anything with that. Now all I'm doing is very simple algebra. Three plus something equals five. Well, I can either just know that three plus two equals five, right? Or I could take 5 minus 3 to get 2, okay? A couple different ways you can get there. So if Johnny's painting 1 fifth, Jackie's painting 2 fifths, that's 3 fifths, Ronnie is left with 2 fifths of the house left to paint. Let's do another one. William has an extension cord that is 3 and 2 thirds feet long, okay? His sister needs to use it to connect her stereo, but she only needs 1 and 1 third of it. How much extra cord will need to be bundled up so it's not lying around? How much cord is not being used? Okay, well, we've got a total of three and two thirds as the whole cord. The whole cord, you stretch it out, it's three and two thirds feet long. All right? I'm going to subtract the part that is going to be used because William's sister is using one and one third feet. Okay? Whatever is left after I take away that one and one third feet, we're going to need to bundle up so no one trips over it, right? So I've got three and two thirds, and I'm taking away one and one third. Well, I'm going to look at my whole numbers, three minus one, that's easy math. Three minus one is two, okay? Then I look at two thirds minus one third. Two minus one is one. Three minus three, we don't do. They're both the same denominator, so we don't even change it. So if you've got something that's two and th or excuse me three and two thirds feet long, you're going to use one and one third feet. Then the rest of the cord that needs to be bundled up will be two and one third feet long. All right. Let's try another one after this quick commercial interruption. Have you ever been in class bored, tired of hearing Mr. Quick talk, and just wished there was a sweet relief out there? There is. It's Dr. Pepper. So good. Okay, we're back. Diana has four and five eighths inches of ribbon. Her friend Susie has three and two eighths inches of ribbon. They need eight inches for a school project that they're going to be doing. How much do they have all together? And do they have enough? I'm not going to solve this for you right now. What you're going to do is you're going to solve it and you're going to bring the answer to class tomorrow or the next time I see you. All right? The one hint I will give you. Diana's got four and five inch eight, or excuse me, four and five eighths inches. Okay, Susie's got three and two eighths inches. They need eight inches. 
the most important thing, whether it's on this problem or on a test or on any other kind of test, right? If they need eight inches, do they have enough? Is one question, <coughs> excuse me, is one question, that's what I get for drinking Dr. Pepper while I'm doing this. How much do they have? Do they have enough? There's two questions. You need two answers. Don't just tell me how much they have. Don't just tell me yes or no they have enough. Give me both answers. We'll go over it tomorrow or the next time I see you. I can't wait.